Hello guys, and a bit of a different video tonight. I've got my neighbour from Romania with me, so right at the beginning of this video I'm taking Adrian out just to have a go with my rifle he's never shot before, so as soon as we've done that we're over to George's small holding. Hope you enjoy this film. Right, so the chap in front of me is Adrian, he's my neighbour. Uh, he is from Romania and actually the area they live at is Transylvania. Now I did bring them out with me last year foxing um, and I revealed after it that I'd actually been out all night with a vampire. So I thought I was quite brave of that. So Adrian's never shot one of these before, my 17 HMR. I've just done a couple of test zeros, quite happy with that at 100 yards. So over to you now then mate. So push the bolt forwards, take your time. Get your finger off the trigger, there you go. So you've got five shots in that magazine, take your time. Okay, so Adrian's now got his happy now with the focus on the scope, the picture in picture. You know what, you're going to keep the top picture on the centre of your target, use that as your main targeting reticle. Okay, so five shots, take your time. You've done a couple of dry fires first. So he knows it's not um, a hard trigger on this. Okay, all right, recock the gun. Try to keep your head behind the scope after your shot. It's what they call the follow through. So don't don't bring your head straight up. Just keep watching the target, okay. and then and then shoot again. Okay, push forward. Down. Okay, off you go. Right. <laughs> we need to edit only two bullets. You can't edit it, right? <laughs> so he's just said we need to edit it. All right. Now this is Adrian's first ever time that he shot a rifle. He's just told me. So we've got two there on the target, which I'm quite happy with. It. Bear in mind. This is set up for me for left-handed, so I'm not expecting him to get bullseyes. Two there, which are okay. There's two there. And the other one's in the other county over here. But I think for a first time, mate, I think you, you've done really well. Because it's the first time you've ever shot a rifle. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. Oh, okay. I'm so well done, happy. mate. Well done. Yeah, we need to edit this. So I don't no, want no, to no. Start. Not doing it. We'll come back with a drill in a minute. <laughs> right. Let's go and get set up and see if our fox comes oh for God. some bait tonight. I'm so happy. Thank well done, you very much. Mate. Good man. Well done. Gun's empty. Next thing I'll need to do is get my trusty waistcoat. It's good having a camera, man. So the difference from the last two weeks ago when I came here, it was I think 27 degrees when I got here set up about this time, it's actually 17 degrees, so a massive drop in temperature. It is quite chilly now as well. And fortunately with the, with the hide as it is, it won't be, won't be drafty. George has very kindly opened up the apertures on the hide, so I'll show you those once we get in there. So I'm just going to take the thermals over and, and leave with Adrian first and then pick up my rifle. Those in there, mate. And I'll get the check is empty again. Yep. Okay. So what we've got there are the remains of four rabbits that George has shot and cut in half. So and then right in the middle is a pile of the ultimate little cheapo cat food. So there's a pile there, there's a pile down here, sort of 90 yards where the wild boar are. So back in the horse both ways. The wind is coming strong from the left uh, as you look at those rabbits. So as I said before, Adrian is from Transylvania and he's brought with him what they would use to go out fox shooting. So I'm going to get him to come into the picture um, and then we can have a look. As I said, Adrian's got his equipment on they would use to go out shooting foxes and wolves. So I'm just going to ask him to sit up now so you can see um, how they go about going out doing what we're doing here in the UK. Come on in, Adrian, up we go. Let's show them. <laughs> so he's got his wolf outfit on. <laughs> I don't think there's any wolves here, mate, but it's worth a try. So there we go. A bit of fun, but. Um, 
you got have a bit of luck. Don't scare the viewers. Right, so we're going to silent room tea now. Adrian's going to look out that window and look out that window behind. I'm going to do um, this side and that side. So between us, hopefully, we'll be able to um, catch something coming in early. The wind, as I said, is coming strong straight down here this way. OK, mate, ready? I'll take that stupid hat off. Twelve o'clock. The clock's just chiming, so we said twelve we'd finish. Right, let's have a walk. That was thirty-two yards from the shed tonight. And I think this is going to be an adult by the size of its tail. So you can see the reflector there. That's my caller. It's got a couple of bike reflectors on it. It's a bit forgiving. Oh no, it's a youngster. Yeah, it's a young young cub, Vixen, by the looks of that. But, um, we'll pick her up and uh, go and put it back. Put it with a rifle. Can you, can you just go and grab that for us, Adrian? <laughs> yeah, the Vixen, so it was. All right, well, that made good chat. How would you say cheerio in Romanian? Mm? Say say goodbye to your Romanian viewers. La revedere, guys. That's exactly what I would have said. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again, hopefully in a week or two, um, before 14th of August. Well, I explained to Adrian that fox shooting is patience, patience, patience. He'd got a lot of patience. Thanks very much for sticking with it, Adrian. We did a great job together. Uh, if you've enjoyed the content of this video, please remember to click on that subscription bell. It won't cost you anything, and it'd be great to have you along. Look forward to seeing you again on another video soon. Cheerio!